Hi guys, I'm Pete from Don't Tell the Wife, and this time I'm showing you my way on how I fix leaky green gas mags. Now for this I am actually using a standard Glock magazine, but if you're running rifle mags or other styles of green gas magazines, it's not a problem, the principle itself stays the same. The only difference of course is how you take them apart. So the two main areas of where your mag leaks are either at the bottom or at the top here. So if it's at the top, your main culprit is normally this valve here. Nine times out of ten, it works its way loose and you just need to tie sense a little bit. But if that doesn't work, you actually need to remove it, clean it, and replace it. If that still doesn't work, I'm afraid you are going to have to buy a new valve for them because, let's face it, now and then they just go, you can't repair them, and it's easy to just buy a new piece. To remove these, ideally you need a valve key. If you haven't got them, I've known people to use flathead screwdrivers before. They normally work, but you do run the risk of actually damaging it. So once you've got the valve out, check the O-rings on the inside, make sure they're not damaged or blown. This one seems all right, it might just be dry. So two ways you can do this, either you can squirt it with a bit of silicon, I personally like to use a bit of grease instead. Now before you put it back, ideally what you want to do is use something like a cotton wool bud, just give it a nice clean inside. This one's actually not too bad, there's not a lot of dirt in it. Just check and make sure that none of the fibers off the cotton wool bud actually stay in the magazine. If you're leaking out the bottom, First thing to do is to check and make sure if it's from the fill valve itself or the gap around the ridge of your base plate. Easiest way to do, put a bit of gas in and just run your finger around the edge and see if it's there or if it's actually on top of your fill valve. So on top of your fill valve, again, ideally, you need a key. Just check and make sure it's tight. Again, some people do actually like to use a flat on these. It's all right, but you do run a major risk of actually damaging your valve completely. If it is coming around the edge, first thing to do, check and see if it's tight enough. This one's actually a screw, so it's easy to do. Some mags such as TMs or WEs have actually got pins on the side, so they're just knock through ones. There's nothing you can do about that. If they're not holding because of that, that's gonna be an O-ring inside. To access this, take the screw out first. Or if you're TMs or WEs, take out the pins. If your one is a screw, just remember to check the O-ring at the bottom of the screw head as well. That is a bit of rubber as well, they can leak from there. Now, when you're taking your base plate off, please make sure you keep pressure on that because you have got spring tension on it. And the last thing you want is that spring flying across the room. So around the lip of your base, you have actually got an O-ring. Check and make sure it's not cracked or damaged. If it is, you're just gonna have to replace that. There's nothing you can do about it. This one looks all right, so I'm just gonna give it a quick clean, a re-grease, put it back in. Some people do actually like to put a layer of PTFE tape around this just to bulk it out. But me personally, if it's got that far, it's time to replace that O-ring anyway. Put it back in exactly the same way as you take it out, remembering to have all your bits in the right place. Keep some tension on that spring, because again, you don't want that flying out. Just put it in, hold it down, and for me anyway, it's a screw job, but again, you might have pins that you've got to put back in. So once you've actually fixed any problems that you've got on your mag, it's holding gas, you're all happy with it, there are still a few things you need to do. First of all, you want to flush your mag, and that's just going to get rid of any air that you've got in your mag still. Easiest way to do this, hold your magazine upside down, and with your little pinky finger, just push in that valve, and you want to pump three or four bits of gas just through it. That's gonna flush any air straight out and then just fill it normally. Once that's all done, keep your mags filled. Green gas has got some silicon inside it as well, so it's gonna lubricate your mags, even if they're just standing still. Hopefully this helps you fix yours. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.